Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 31 of May, June 2013. Of course, of A-level math, paper 3. So, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So now for question number one, we have to find the uh, quotient and the remainder. So we have to find two things, the quotient and the remainder, when this thing right here is divided by this. So pretty easy, we can perform long division, so that will be 2x squared plus 0x plus 0, divide by this one, which is x plus 2. Now, one by one, how can you make x become 2x squared? Well, x have to multiply by 2 first, and then x. So take the whole thing times this, you will have 2x squared plus 4x. This will be gone. 0 minus this one. So again, 0 minus this will be minus 4x plus 0. Now, how can you make x become minus 4x times minus 4? That will become minus 4x minus 8. This will go away. 0 minus minus become plus, so plus it will be just 8. Okay, so we're done now. As you can see, the one on top is called the quotient. And the one remaining here will be called the remainder. So this is the two things you need to find for your answer in part question number one. So remainder will be 8, and quotient will be 2x minus 4. This is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So we have to expand this thing right here. In ascending powers of x up to x squared. So one by one, how would you expand this? So first we have to simplify, obviously. So what does that mean? It means, what is square root? We understand square root is also described as power half. Now, I can send this up. You will have 1 plus 3x multiplied by, instead of divide, that will be plus 2x minus half. Right? Now, obviously, I will have to expand this by using our binomial formula. This have to be plus 1, check. It is plus 1, good to go. And this is negative or fraction, good to go. So we can use our formula to expand this one. So 1 plus 2x power minus half will be what? That will be 1 plus n, which is minus half here, x will be 2x, plus the value of minus half, minus 1 again, on that that will be minus 3 over 2, 2x squared, divided by the value of 2 factorial. Now we can stop right here because we only need the term in x squared. We don't need to go past this one. Now you'll have what? This will be cancel out, cancel, you have 1 minus x. Now here we have to use our calculator, because why not, right? Minus half times minus 3 over 2 times 4 divided by 2. That should be plus 3 over 2x squared. Okay, now this is only the expansion of this one, but don't forget about this one, right? Because it is also included in your question. So we have to take this one right here times this one. This one became this. 1 minus this one plus 3 over 2 x squared. Now 1 times this thing will be the same thing. All right? 1 times something will be the same. Now this one times this will be plus 3x. Time this will become minus 3x squared. Time this one should be plus 9 over 2x cubed. But again, here we don't need x cubed, so we can just remove this one. Now for the rest, we have to look at this, this, and this. So 1 is 1. Minus 1 plus 3, that should be plus 2x. 3 over 2, minus 3. So 3 over 2, minus 3, that should be minus 1, 1 half. So minus 1, 1 half is what? 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3, so 3 over 2. So minus... 3 over 2 x squared. And this is your answer for question number 2, expand up to x squared. Now let's move on to question number 3. So here we have we have to express this one in partial fractions. Um, so first thing let's verify, is this proper or improper? So by observation you will say, well, the x powers on top is less than that below, it will be proper, right? Because here we have x power 2. Here if you were to expand you have x power 3, so the powers on top will be less than below, it is proper. Now in that case, we can proceed directly. That will be let this equal to, here this is linear and this is quadratic. That will be a over the value of x 
plus bx plus c over the value of x squared plus 1. Now we can try to simplify. Obviously, uh, take the base times this one. This is the same on top. We will not change that. That will be my left hand side. Is equal to this times this times this. So a over this time this will become x squared plus 1 and bx plus c times this over this time this will become b times x. Here you go. So here we have our equation to solve, obviously, for some values of x, but we have to find the values of a, b, and c. Let's play with x to find that. For example, I can say, well, like, let x become 0. Now again, you can choose anything you want to. Just choose something that will make your life easy. So here you will have 2 on the left-hand side is equal to a times 1 plus 0. So a will be the value of, of 2. This is part 1. Now what, what's next? <laughs> what can I choose next? Let me choose something easy as well. It's easy to work with 1. That will be 7 minus 3 plus 2. That will be 6 is equal to. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, right? Plus uh, b plus c. So b plus c is equal to the value of 2. This is my equation number 1. OK, cool. Now let's see what's next. I have to use something else. Let me choose x equal to minus 1. Why not? This will become 7 plus 3 plus 2. That will be 12. 12 is equal to a is 2. That should be uh, 2 times 2. Here we go. Plus minus b plus c times minus 1. That will be uh, 4 here. 12 minus 4 is 8. And that should be b minus c. This is my equation number 2. Okay, so we have two equations. We can solve them simultaneously to find the value of b and c, right? So let me first make b become subject. You have 2 minus c. Replace it here. So 8 is equal to b, which is 2 minus c, minus c. Um, we can send this one over here. So 8 minus this will be 6. That will be minus 2c. So c will be the value of minus 3. From this, b will have to be 2 minus minus 3. That should be 5. Okay, so we found the values of a, b, and c. Now we just have to replace back up here for our partial fractions. a is a value of 2, that will be 2 of x, plus b is 5, x minus 3 over x squared plus 1. And this is your answer for question number 3. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.